Good to be back with you, Barbecue Warriors. We're going to talk a little bit about pork collars. Pork collar is basically made up of the term money muscle, and that part of the pork butt is what locks down on the spine. The hog's laying on his back, you got him split open. The money muscle section that we call it is locked down on the spine. It's one of the best pieces of meat on the shoulder itself. We're gonna inject these today and cook them. First thing we're gonna do on the money muscle end right here, we're gonna clean it up. I'm just defining where that money muscle is and where the teeth start. That right there is the money muscle. Where I got my fingers in, I made that groove. That is the money muscle right here. Jumping over to number two. We got our pork collars ready. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them right up here on my rack because I'm gonna cook them on the rack. Everybody knows I love them. Now we gotta decide on what we're gonna inject with today. We got two brand new options. Straight from Myron Mixon Brands. Apple pork injection, or we got my peach injection. Today we're gonna go with our apple. Comes in one pound pack, so I'm gonna use a half a pound of it. Now I'm gonna put in a half a gallon of apple juice. Take a whisk. Make sure you got it good mixed up. Now, fixing to inject. Fry my injector. All right, moving over to the second one. All right, now it's time to put our rub on. We're gonna do three layers. Start with the bottom first. I always do because I want the tops to look the best. A little bit of vegetable oil, something neutral. Find my hot rub, get a little spice. Put it on first, lightly. Then I'm coming with my original rub. Finishing up with my Honey Money Cluck rub. Roll it over, we'll do the tops last. Hot rub first. Original. Honey money. We got him setting up. Now it's time to go on the smoker. We'll cook him at 300 degrees. On my Bark 3600, that's 36 inches. These are my orchard blend, my go-to. I say it all the time. It's got hickory, it's got oak, Red oak, it's also got cherry wood. It's time for them to go on. All right, barbecue warriors, what we're gonna do, I'm cooking them out on the rack for two hours at 300 degrees pit temp. Then I'm gonna get me an aluminum pan, handle down inside the pan to elevate it, two cups of apple juice. Then I'm gonna take some butcher paper to put over the top of those pork collars, reason for it, they are above the side of the pan, and I'm gonna put some foil over the top, tighten it, where it can steam and tenderize. If you don't put the butcher paper, there's a good chance that meat and rub's gonna react with that aluminum foil and eat through it. Then you'll have the foil on the meat. That's why I put that butcher paper over it before I wrap it. I'll see you back, be cool. 
Barbecue Warriors, I want to tell you something today that's going to help improve your game. Right here from Grill Master Club. They come in a subscription you get every month. You get new recipes and you get new products like mine in the box. You got some great pit masters besides me that's got their products that they send out. You need everything that's in the box. You select what you want to use. Use the recipes right here. Turn out great barbecue. To up your game, you got to practice. You got to try new things. You can't stay in that comfort zone. There's nothing like getting a new recipe, trying it, making you a world champion. Go to grillmasterclub.com, check them out, sign up. Hey, Barbecue Warriors, that pork collar saga is still rolling. We done went in, remember? We injected, we trimmed it, we put our rubs on it. It went on our Bark Series right here, Myron Mix and Smoker 3600, and it's been cooking at 300 degrees. Two hours after I put it on, I went in, I panned it. Two cups of apple juice, those handles down on that rack. Covered that meat with butcher paper, then the foil. Butcher paper protected it from eating through, that meat eating through the foil, leaving foil on the meat. Don't want that. Well, let me tell you, after I panned it, it took another hour and a half to get it to 205 internal temp with the meat thermometer. That's where I wanted it, 205. So we had a total cook time of three hours, 30 minutes. Well, I took it off, laid it up on my blanket, let it rest for about an hour and a half, let those juices start coming back in. I just took it out of the blanket and I got it over here with me. Let you see it first. Now there's the foil we talked about. Remember, I put foil on it to be tight. There's the butcher paper. That right there keeps it from eating through. We don't want that. You can see that apple juice in there. I put two cups. I got my hog sauce right here. Got vanilla in it. It's a great sauce, love it. But anybody that knows that I've ever said one thing in my life, it's about always heat your barbecue sauce up before you use it. Don't put cold barbecue sauce on hot meat. So now we're ready, then heated it up. I'm gonna brush it on. Plus when you heat it up, it thins it out. It makes it shed off and it's not gloppy. We'll slice some of them, see what we got going on here. That right there, silky smooth. I'll see y'all next time, keep smoking.